Hi everybody, Honest John here. Uh, I mean, it, we all knew that the Republicans were not going to convict Trump in the Senate impeachment trial. There was absolutely no doubt about his guilt, but they weren't going to convict him. Marjorie Taylor Greene was right when she said that Trump owns the Republican Party. So they came up with this lame excuse that you can't impeach a president after he leaves office, which is not mentioned anywhere in the Constitution. And Mitch McConnell delayed the trial until after Biden's inauguration. So that was just pure bullshit. McConnell had the nerve to get up after the trial in front of the whole country and say that Trump was responsible for the insurrection even though he had voted to acquit. I mean, that takes talking out of both sides of your mouth to a new level. But what Trump tried to do is far too serious for political posturing. He tried to end democracy in the United States of America and install himself as a dictator. He was even uh, in the White House with his coat still on watching the insurrection because if it was successful he was planning on going back to the Capitol and arriving, you know, making a grand entrance and installing himself as the winner of the election. And it wasn't like we, we, we didn't have any warning. Trump had mentioned several times in talking with dictators, whom he always cozied up to, that he wanted to do what they did. He told Xi Jinping, the Chinese leader, that he wanted to be installed as president for life. That was why he sent the mob to the Capitol, and that is why he refused to send help to thwart the insurrection. But Donald Trump's treason did not just happen on January 6th. From his first day in office to his last, he was working to weaken the United States to benefit his patron, Vladimir Putin. Everything Trump did from corrupting the Justice Department and our intelligence agencies and undermining our alliances and making just erratic foreign policy decisions harmed America and benefited Russia. So even though Joe Biden has expressed no interest in going after Trump, the lifelong professionals in the Justice Department and the intelligence community are eager to expose him for what he was and to hold him accountable. By their vote to acquit Trump, the Republican Party has made Trump's treason their own. What Trump tried to do cannot go unpunished. He must spend the rest of his life in prison. And the Republican Party has also been penetrated by the Russians. We know that the Russians have been funneling money to Republican PACs and super PACs for years. Republican representatives and senator, including Devin Nunes, Jim Jordan, and Lindsey Graham, have included Kremlin talking points in their speeches. Think about that. Lies created by the Russian FSB agents are part of the United States Congressional record. The GOP treason did not start with Trump. It will not end with Trump. It has only become undeniable. Thanks for listening.